If you love onion rings, you're going to love this recipe. Not only is it easier, you don't have to create a perfect batter and you can add any additional flavorings of your choice. So let's begin. Let's begin by slicing the onion into thin strips. want to separate the different layers of the onion so we have thin slivers of onion to work with. We've sliced the onions and now we're going to add in the seasonings. The seasonings are very simple and you can adjust this according to your taste as well. The key ingredient here is salt as well as turmeric because it gives this vibrant yellow color to the finished dish. The seasonings I have here are salt, Kashmiri red chili powder, and turmeric powder. I'm going to add these into the onions and mix them thoroughly. Going to massage the salt and these ingredients into the onions. And you can use a spatula for this, but I find that hands work the best to really coat every sliver of onion with this spice mix. Now that we've mixed in the onions with the seasoning, we're going to set this aside to rest for about 10 minutes. This step is essential because it draws out the moisture from the onions, which is going to help us create the batter for this onion bhaji later on. Now, we're not going to add any additional water to this recipe, so this step is key. Let's set it aside for 10 minutes and come back to it. The onion, salt and spices have been set aside for about 10 minutes now. I can see a little bit of the moisture from the onions starting to come out. So at this stage, I'm going to add in my cumin seeds, which are going to add a little bit more flavor to these onion bhajis, as well as chickpea flour, which is going to mix with the juices from the onions to form the batter. Going to sprinkle in some cumin seeds, not too much, just a little bit. And then I'm going to add in the chickpea flour. We'll start with half of this quantity and then see how much more we need. So again, what we want to do is massage these ingredients into the onions to help the juices from the onions come out. There is so much moisture that has come out of these onions. You can see that the moment I squeeze them and mix in the chickpea flour, that it forms a paste. I want you to resist the temptation to add any more liquid to this mixture. I think this can take a little bit more chickpea flour. Going to add in the rest of the chickpea flour. So this is half an onion and we are adding in a fourth of a cup. All right, this is perfect now. You can see how the chickpea flour has formed a paste. And you can see that the onions are sticking together and that's exactly what we want. Okay, the oil is at temperature now and we can start frying. We're going to pick up a chunk of this onion and chickpea mixture and drop it into the hot oil. The chickpea flour is going to make sure that the onions stick together. So let's go. Don't touch these bhajis for the first 30 seconds to a minute because this allows them to form their shape. Now you can see these bhajis floating on the top. It means they're ready to be stirred. Stir them gently just to make sure that nothing is sticking to the bottom and then let them cook till they're completely golden and crispy. It's been about five minutes and these onion bhajis are looking crispy, golden, and they smell delicious. So let's get them out of the hot oil. Oh, 
we're ready to taste these beautiful onion pajis. Did you hear that crunch? That was delicious. You can taste the onion flavor, of course. You can also taste the nuttiness from the chickpea flour. And I get a little bit of cumin when I bite into the cumin seeds and that lovely toasted cumin flavor is an incredible combination with this dish. So let me know if you try it and what additional flavorings you add on to your onion bhaji. Like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to dive into the depths of Indian cuisine and culture.